Hi, it's Brendan Howe here from Techify with our new C-Suite Tech Talk series, where we talk about technology strategy issues, specifically for CEOs and other business leaders. Let's dive into employee monitoring a little bit. People generally do employee monitoring for three reasons. Reducing risk and liability, protecting confidentiality, uh, and looking at productivity. So to reduce risk and liability, here's some examples. UPS puts seatbelt sensors in their trucks to make sure that their drivers are wearing their seatbelts. There's lots of organizations that do analysis of how people are driving, driving company vehicles to make sure that they're, that they're being safe. And there's a, there's a bunch of different uh, cybersecurity um, potential in terms of monitoring how people are using computers, email, that sort of stuff to make sure that the company stays safe. From a confidentiality perspective, if you're regularly um, handling personal health information, a lot of organizations will want to have monitors in place to make sure that folks aren't emailing that information or it's not going outside or company secrets or key documents or, or, or that sort of thing. Uh, and last but not least is the productivity side. Everybody wants to know, is our team as productive as they can be? Like you hear these stories, crazy stories these days about moonlighting, people having more than one job at the same time and not telling their employers about it. I've heard stories about people sleeping at work. You hear things from friends about people bragging that they only have to work an hour a day because they're working remotely and things like that. So that spurred a lot of kind of requests uh, from our clients for advice on how do we monitor productivity? How do we make sure when somebody is telling us that they're working, that they're actually working. And the other piece of that too is how do we monitor for burnout? We, we have all sorts of people that are working really hard. How do we check and say, hey, maybe this person is putting in too many hours. Maybe they're working too hard. They're going to burn out. They're going to have an issue. Well, there's three, three suggestions or three ways that we've seen most common. Number one is Microsoft. So most of our client base is on Microsoft 365. Within Microsoft 365, in the Microsoft 365 tenant, there's something called productivity score. And it will, on an aggregate basis, show you how your staff is using Microsoft products and if they're fully utilizing it. And different things like are people emailing attachments, emailing links, are they using SharePoint, are they running online meetings properly, all that sort of stuff. Originally, Microsoft came out with this and there was um, user-specific data. They got criticized for it, so they backtracked. So now it's just aggregate. So aggregate across uh, and your entire team. So you can look at how your entire team is doing. So not a very pervasive level of monitoring already in place in your Microsoft 365 tenant. Uh, easy to look at it and analyze it. Now, some folks want to go further than that. They want to know, are, are people, have they logged on? How long are they working their computers? How long are they working in a given day? Um, or are they not working very much? That sort of thing. So the, our, our best recommendation, our standard on that that we've been talking to clients about is a piece of software called ActiveTrack. Now we like ActiveTrack because it doesn't do key logging, it doesn't turn on webcams, it doesn't have all those kind of things that we don't really feel good about that can really violate, uh, violate privacy. Uh, what it will do is it will give a bunch of analytic reporting on how productive somebody is, uh, or how many hours they work, or if there are signs of burnout, or what they're spending most of their time doing. So you can use it both as a kind of, just make sure somebody's working, uh, as well as a coaching tool uh, for, your, for your team. Um, and, and the third option, there's more pervasive, this is not one that we generally recommend, but there's, there's more pervasive uh, types of employee monitoring that'll do screenshots, that'll, uh, that'll do more detailed analysis, that might, uh, that might turn on the webcam and see if, uh, see if the person's there. Um, there's a piece of software called Terramine that uh, does does more and more deeper stuff in that. I, I, and generally, we feel a little bit queasy about that that kind of stuff, uh, just because it's really blurring the line between um, privacy issues and, uh, and and being being a good employer. So, bottom line, uh, there's a bunch of options out there for if you want to do a little bit more uh, employee monitoring, productivity analysis, that sort of thing. If you want advice please feel free to reach out. This is the type of advice we provide to our clients all the time. Uh, you can reach out, happy to do a uh, free consultation on employee monitoring or any other key technology trends. Thanks for watching today. Have a great day.